Good morning, Greater Lake Job. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Ramaya Henderson alongside Delaney Mulroy. Coming up in today's show, the annual club fair is today. Reporter Richard Hillwig talks to some of the field hockey players and student council members are available if you need help purchasing homecoming tickets. All this and more on your WCA TTV news. The annual club fair will take place today during Lunch and Learn. Be sure to stop by the Commons area and get involved. The Environmental Club will meet for the first time directly after school today in Mr. Richter's room. All students are welcome to attend. Members from last year should check their email for information about officer elections. All students should check their email for an important message from Student Council about the homecoming dance ticket sales. All tickets must be purchased online and the email contains the link for purchase. 10th through 12th grade students who are bringing a date from another school are encouraged to purchase their tickets as soon as possible so you have time to complete the required guest forms. Ticket sales will end Friday, September 16th. If you need assistance, visit H107 during 10th through 12th Lunch and Learn or C107 during 9th grade Lunch and Learn. Underclassmen and staff photos will be taken today during your social studies class. If you do not have a social studies class, please go during a free set. And if you don't have a free set, you can report during Wildcat time. Attention all 11th grade students. Mass hearing screenings will be held Thursday, September 15th in the CSC during Lunch and Learn for all 11th grade students. All 11th graders will be receiving an orange hearing pass during their first set Thursday morning to bring with them to the CSC for screening. All 11th graders whose last name begin with A through M, please report to the CSC at 10.50 a.m. All 11th graders whose last name begin with N through Z, please report to the CSC at 11.15 a.m. Please remember to bring your orange hearing passes with you. The high school weight room will be open on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school from 3 to 5. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Fry in A4 in the junior high. Pep Club will be holding a cornhole tournament on Wednesday, September 21st. Sign-ups will run from now through September 19th and will cost $15 per team of two people or $8 for an individual sign-up. If you are interested in participating, fill out a form or stop by our table in the Commons area during 10th through 12th Lunch and Learn to pay. If you are a freshman, payments will be collected during Lunch and Learn on odd days only. If you do not pay before the 19th, you will not be able to participate. We will be back after this short message. The Intersight Bridges program, located on the lower level H rooms 105 and 106, will begin offering mindfulness groups this week during Lunch and Learn. The groups offered include Mindfulness Monday, Anxiety and Self-Care, Open Studio Engagement, Yoga, and Self-Expression. Many groups contain an art component. Please see the Guidance Department to sign up. Groups will be limited to six members at a time. The Student Store is pleased to kick off the 2023 Wildcat Store Calendar Photography Contest. If you or someone you know has taken photos within the GLSD borders and would like to enter the contest, please visit the store's website in your email for the official roles and entry link. Winners will receive a cash prize and a free calendar. Calendars will be available for purchase through the online store in December. Last year's calendar was a big success and we're looking forward to even more participants this year. Now, let's get a check on the weather. We go to Richard Hillwig for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, we'll see partly cloudy skies with a high of 76 and a low of 52. On Thursday, we'll see clear skies with a high of 73 and a low of 52. And on Friday, we'll see clear skies once again with a high of 77 and a low of 50. That's a three-day forecast. Back to you, Ramai and Delaney. Thanks, Richard. Mirafa Theta will be on Monday, September 19th in C106 during the second half of Lunch and Learn. Any student interested in trying out for the hometown high Q team should see Mrs. Scala, Mrs. Myers, or Mrs. Prady for the tests by this Friday, September 16th. The first National Honor Society meeting will be held on Thursday, September 22nd in the CSC during Lunch and Learn. We now go to Tyler Nelson for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Cats. It's been a busy start of the week for our Wildcat sports teams. On Monday, the girls' soccer team defeated Penn Hills 3-0, and the field hockey team narrowly lost to powerhouse Penn Trafford in a 4-3 defeat. In girls' volleyball news, senior middle hitter Emma Blair and senior libero Giovanna Jones were recognized by the WPIAL Volleyball Coaches Association as 3A Players of the Week. Congratulations, girls. Today at 10.30, the girls' tennis team takes on Franklin Regional. The boys' golf team battles the Golden Lions of Greensburg-Salem at 3.30 at Latrobe Country Club. And finally, your girls' field hockey team takes on Peters Township on Rossi Field at 7.30. Reporter Richard Hillwig had a chance to talk to some of the players. I'm here with Delaney Mulroy and Hope Cerny of the Wildcats field hockey team. 
And guys, trying to build off of last season, what's going to be the key in order to do that? I think we have definitely improved since last season, and the team bonds we have and the communication skills we have too is something that is going to help us lead to victory this season. Um, also, shout out to our new captains, Megan Brackney, um, Josie Shegis, and Taylor Desco. Um, we have an amazing amount of seniors, and they all just bring something great to the team. But I can't wait to see what we have in store for the new captains. I feel like they're going to just be great, and not only that, but lead us into many victories and just be great captains. Now, for both of you guys as seniors, what do you guys have to do in order to be strong leaders for the incoming freshmen and for just all the underclassmen as well? Um, I just kind of think being just like being a friend and being very friendly, like, um, you know, obviously coming into a new sport that is very scary. So just being like open to new conversations and not only that, but just being like friendly and talking to them and getting personal just because it's scary. But I think that the freshmen are a really good crew. They're very talkative, very funny, um, really good group. And we do a thing called Bigs and Littles where we help welcome freshmen and sophomores into a new sport. And I think that bond that we form with them early on is really important for the rest of the season. Thanks, Richard. Be sure to check out the Wildcat Network for games and interviews. That's all in Wildcat Sports. We go to Joe Coletti for national sports. Hey, Wildcats. On Sunday, your Pittsburgh Steelers won a thriller in OT versus the reigning AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals, by a score of 23-20. Jamar Chase scored a touchdown as regulation time expires, and all the Bengals needed to do to win the game was make an extra point. Star Pittsburgh safety Minka Fitzpatrick, however, blocked the extra point and sent the game to the OT, where Steelers kicker Chris Boswell made a game-winning 53-yard field goal. However, not it was all as well as it seems. Defensive end and reigning defensive player of the year, TJ Watt, is feared to have a torn pectoral, which could put him out for the season. As for your MLB, your Pirates take on the Cincinnati Reds in Cincinnati at 12.35 p.m. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Colin Molloy with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Wednesday, September 14th, and the main line is mashed potato bowls and warm dinner rolls with butter. The sandwich options today are hamburgers, cheeseburgers, or chicken patties. The pizza options are homemade or pepperoni and cheese pizza. In the grab-and-go bar, we have fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is wedding, and the vegetable of the day is golden corn. Thanks, and back to you. The following colleges will be in the Commons area during Lunch and Learn. Now here is Emily Sweeney with the Wildcat World News. Good morning, Latrobe. Today in World News, an Australian man was killed by a kangaroo after trying to keep it as a pet. According to the outlet, the 77-year-old suffered life-threatening injuries, and when the ambulance arrived, the kangaroo would not let its first responders reach him. Since the kangaroo proved to be a threat to paramedics, police were forced to shoot it so that they could reach the man. However, it was too late to save him. Also in California, fires are roaring and the firefighters are struggling to keep up. The heavy smoke has covered swaths of Oregon, Washington, California, Canada, and other parts of the country. Luckily, some rain from Tropical Storm K has provided some relief for these firefighters. And in local news, city officials voted to table a section of Latrobe's blight reduction ordinance before making a decision. The f officials hear testimonies from 12 landlords. Most of the attendees in the meeting were opposed to Section 5 of the ordinance being tabled as well. So that will be discussed in the future. That's all for headline news. Back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Libchobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats.